Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Heroes content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the top 50 teams in PvP for the Asia server. So we're going to discuss as well the top heroes that were being used. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Before we start with the top tier heroes in PvP, I'd like to give you guys more information on the stats that I have presented here. So the data was collected on October 4th, um, just yesterday, so just before the weekly cutoff. So as we all know, PvP um, has a cutoff um, uh, every week for the weekly rankings so that it will be refreshed the next day. And these are these is the data is based on the top 50 teams in the Asia server, which which I am uh, currently at. And I prepared this one because I know that the meta right now is evolving. Um, it's very far from what we have in the past, uh, let's say, a month or two months. So this will give you an idea more or less on how to uh, be able to construct your teams moving forward uh, because in the top uh, in the top tier the top 50 um, it's currently different from from for example your master tier and below it's the the tiers are different because of signature force so but all of us are eventually eventually will be going there uh all of us will eventually have signature force so more or less i'd like to share with you the trend that is happening right now in the top tier pvp so let's start first with your top tier heroes in pvp so usage rate um usage rate means um how frequently they're being used let's say out of, out of the top 50 uh what's the percentage so for let's let's start with Iris. So Iris is at 94% usage rate in the top 50. Next is FC Garf or 88%. The third one is FC Tantalo, so at 60%. The fourth one is Dorka at 52. The fifth one is FC Brook at 38. FC Ramji at 34%. FC Rachel at 30%, FC Annie at 26%, FC Zeon at 24%, and FC Janai, FC Baraka, FC Otard, and FC Hekin at 8%. So I lumped them up so that you'd be able to see uh, uh, a bunch in 10. It would be unfair if I left somebody out for the 10th spot. So more or less, this is how how it looks like in terms of hero usage. So take note, uh, most of the heroes here have asterisks. So the only one that doesn't have an asterisk here is Tantalo. So Tantalo, despite not having a signature force, is still being used and it's one of the top three because usually you don't use Tantalo for his um, damage dealing. He, you, you use him for his dot and for the buffs. Uh, and debuffs and also heart strike so he's a utility um, defender so that is why he is there but once he gets his signature force he will actually be very good um, i think in pvp so as for in terms of my analysis in the top um, heroes if you can see there are a lot of heroes that drop uh, that has dropped in the current meta for the top uh, PvP ranks. So number one is Shufraken. Although Shufraken, I've seen, I've still seen Shufraken being used in the top 50, but uh, I think I saw him only in two teams. So, and the two most glaring heroes that were left out of usage is Rera and Battery. Because more or less of, of signature force so right now they're taking their break and they're not being used right now in, in the top teams okay as you can see here these are the top tier teams in pvp right now so this is also out of the 50 teams 
again, these are teams that belong in the Asia server. And again, this is the data based on the October, before the October cutoff. I'm uh, sorry, October 4 cutoff. So again, so I've, I've not ranked these teams according to which is better, which is best. So I just, I just indicated there the number after the team. It means that out of, there are six teams out of 50 that have used it and so on and so forth. So you can see there the first team is FC Iris, Garf, Ramji, Zion, Rachel. Second is FC Iris, FC Garf, FC Pantalo, FC Brook, FC Dorka. So again, so on and so forth. Um, the common, the common, more the common denominator for almost all of them is FC Iris and FC Gar. So their usage rate actually, based on the previous um, slide that you've seen, uh, and based on the teams that are here, they are really being used much right now. The second, if you can see, uh, would be Tantalo. Um, the one, the one that has been surprising so far is FC Ramji, and uh, no surprise actually for for Dorka. So she's been in this list uh, as well with, with the higher higher tier teams. So more or less, the teams in the top are dictated again by signature force versus the teams in the bottom. So, uh, like where I am right now, um, I'm in. I was in Master Three uh, during the cutoff. Uh, I'm still using the the team which includes Sofjafrak and Iris, Battery Rera, and I. So it's still the old meta team that I'm using. So it's it's different, but the top teams actually guys dictate the pace. Especially if you really, really want to go up uh, the PvP ladder, you have to you have to be able to at least develop your teams towards the trend. I'm sure once uh, Signature Force for Battery uh, comes out, the, the picture would change again. So I'll have an update on this, preferably on, on a weekly basis or probably i could do this twice a month that we won't have to discuss more changes uh every week so um please give me your comments on if, if you want this on a weekly basis or a twice a month basis so again so also i have other teams that um have have a ranking of two or two counts so the number here are two. I will post them in the comment section for you to check out. My take on on uh, on the top tier teams, it's really dictated again by signature force. If you can see here, you haven't seen Jinai that much being used because probably probably teams are still building her up. She just came out uh, kind of last week in terms of her FC so expect to see her soon uh, in the meta expect to see her probably go up the standings in terms of the top teams or in terms of usage please give me your thoughts guys on what you think uh, should be the best way to do or to build your team should you be should you want to go through or or should you want to go towards the, the the top 50 builds or would you like to create your own teams in pvp aside from what is currently being used so anyway guys that concludes my video let me know again what you think and you all stay safe out there i'll see you in the next video for the now.